And welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis Reanimator. Okay, we tried this deck a few days ago. Um, looks like it was five days ago. All right, so we tried this deck five days ago and it didn't work out very well. But as you can tell here, we switched up a lot of stuff and we talked about at the end of the video wanting to switch up stuff. I, I, was, trying, I was trying to do too many things in our Reanimate deck before. We had uh, the cards that that dealt with drawing two cards a turn matters you know like the ironclad crag pyromancer and uh the blue red enchantment that that makes a one one every time you draw a second card and so you know we had we had those kind of decks or sorry those kind of cards in our deck also and it just kind of made our our deck it just kind of pulled the deck in too many different directions so instead we're taking that stuff out we're going more into not we're not completely all in on reanimating um, we, we obviously have our four bond revival and we have our big threats. And as you can tell here, I added in a third Dracuseth. We only had two Dracuseth last time. Um, so we added in a, in a third Dracuseth, but we have just like, uh, we have just better interaction. You know, we didn't really have interaction before there was no legions ends or murderous riders. And so we got those in there. I got a, another, or I got ritual of soots in the main deck. We weren't playing main deck ritual of soots before. And so as you can tell, we're, we're kind of control a little bit more controlling with having some removal and a couple sweepers so we should just be able to get to a, a longer game and let our royal scions uh take over more and and you know let our tomb bound lich uh tome bound lich sorry let our tome bound lich do its thing so you know like these these two are kind of the the cornerstone of the deck doing their draw and discard um they work so well together also with the royal scions giving uh the tome bound lich first strike and trample to go along with death touch and life links you know like first strike first strike death touch trample like you're dealing damage to the opponent and so you always get to get to trigger that tone bound lich whenever you want and so you know our goal is to just put some big stuff into the graveyard bring it back with haste with bond or revival um now ilharg uh ilharg looks a little weird in here like instead of just playing like four agent four dracuseth but Ilharg also kind of gives us like a backup plan so we don't have to always find Bond or Revival. You know, we can play Ilharg on turn five. And a lot of, you know, like, yep, yeah, maybe they get rid of Ilharg, maybe they don't. Um, if they don't, you know, we get to attack with Ilharg. And attacking with Ilharg and then putting an Agent of Treachery into play is just amazing because, you know, that Agent of Treachery goes back to your hand and everything. It's just um, such a great combination there. Ilharg and Dracuseth do not work very well together. You do not get the Dracuseth trigger off of Ilharg, but Dracuseth is still a 7-7 seven, seven flyer. You know, you're attacking for six trample and seven in the air. Like you're you're still doing just fine in that scenario. Um but yeah sometimes we'll just want to like discard Ilharg and Bond of Revival, you know, Bond of Revivaling Ilharg and then putting Agent of Treachery from our hand into play is something that we'll like to do and that we'll be doing at different points. So we're going to play this through a league. We're going to see if we can do better with it. Uh, you know, like we went 1-2 last time, but I like how this looks better. And I think that we should have should have some more success. But we're going to still uh, test it through a league here and see how we do with some Grixis Reanimator. Now, I haven't tried Vilas. Um, I think that Vilas just isn't... I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like it's... It's as good as like these other top end cards, basically. Hey WQ, because um, you know it's like pay a black and what is it? It's like pay pay a black and like and you, like it gives creatures minus two minus two. Vilas Broker of Blood. So it's it's yeah you have to. Pay a black mana and pay two life, and then target creature gets minus one, minus one. Ugh. I mean, you do get to draw two cards, because whenever you lose that many life, you draw that many cards. But it's just, the creatures in standard are pretty big. Like, you're not really killing anything with that. Uh, no, I don't think that, we're not really a Merfolk, Merfolk Secret Keeper deck. Like, we're basically, we're kind of playing like a good Grixis mid-range deck, you know, like with lots of good Grixis cards, where we just have like this end game of getting Agent of Treachery and Dracuseth reanimating them, or even just casting them for seven mana. But it's it's not that's what that's what I basically don't want to fall trap into. I don't want to um play cards that aren't very powerful on their own that that basically all they do is try to help us reanimate. 
Um, all of our cards are just pretty good cards, whether they're helping us reanimate or not. You know, Tonebound Lich is still going to loot for us and then you know trade with a bigger creature because it has death touch um, kind of thing. Safari in the sideboard against a red deck. Yeah, that yeah. Yeah, that could definitely be a thing. Yeah. Yeah, if yeah, if if you know you're trying this out and you're struggling against mono red, yeah, that that could definitely be a thing. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a good consideration there. Simic Guildgate. Okay, so um, you all said that there's a little bit of lag with audio and video. Um, all right, I just changed a setting. Let me know if that's better or worse with the lag or anything like that. I I tried some, I tried uh, changing something. Let me know if I made it worse or better. Better? Cool, cool. Good. Those those two are basically always off, like the voice and audio. And so basically I had I had the audio like um, offset and then I just changed it to be the video offset. And so now I guess hopefully that's so that should be better. Okay, I'm going to save Legion's End. We either ditch Agent of Treachery and try to get that back and try to steal Field of the Dead, or we ditch Dracuseth and just try to kill my opponent with Dracuseth. Those are the two options. I think we go Dracuseth. <laughs> oh, look, Field of the Dead. How original. Yeah, it's... It's the, it's the deck you play against the most these days. I'm kind of incentivized to just Legion's End these Grazers and then be able to hit my opponent with Tonebound Lich to be able to loot again. We'll see, especially if I don't... Okay, I hit the land, so I will be able to Revival next turn. So I guess I should not, because I will be able to revival. Um So yeah, you think, okay, so um, common here was that this deck looks pretty good, but it could struggle against uh, everybody playing Ashiok these days, because everybody has Ashiok these days. And while that's true, the thing is we don't, the good part about this deck is, is um, we don't really need to reanimate for our deck to, to be a solid deck. You know, like we can play a normal game of Grixis. And so, even though we have like that really powerful effect with, as we just saw there, Bond Revival, Dracuset, like that's really powerful and we have that in our deck. Our deck is doesn't need that to win. We can just play like a kind of normal Grixis midrange deck and that seven mana just cast Agent of Treachery and steal things. And that's still quite good. Trust me, I have a plan. Hmm. My sister by my side. I do let me synthesize the facts. We will meet again. 
again. Hey, Blade. All right, well, we're trying to synthesize the facts over here, I suppose, with the Royal Scions. I basically can't block this thing. Uh, sorry to hear that, Kendis. Happy to, you know, glad you're here now, though. Sorry, day hasn't been too good. That was not a good block. Yeah, as, as you can see there, Tonebound Lich is, is completely unblockable when you give it First Strike and Trample. So like Basically, First Strike Death Touch means you only have to do one damage to each thing that it blocks to kill it. So, I mean, that, that's what Death Touch means. You only have to do one damage. So they blocked with two creatures, so you just have to do one damage to each of those two to, to kill them. And it has First Strike, so it just immediately, you know, has three power. So it does one to the zombie, one to the zombie. And then it has Trample, so the extra one can, can trample over. The reason why I didn't Legion's End, like, Legion's End, yes, would be nice, especially if they have another Crisis in hand. But I didn't Legion's End because of this, because they have the ability, especially with two Field of the Dead, if they have, like, Circuitous Routes and stuff like that, like Golo Circuitous Route, they have the ability to get a ton of zombies into play. And so I think I need to save the, the Legion's End because of that. Can you talk about mana bases for tricolor decks? How many basics to fetch and how many tap lands? It it kind of depends on the deck, honestly. It depends on like how many of each colored mana source that you need. And thanks, Kendis, for that link there. So check check out that link there that that can also kind of help there. But it you know like if you have like let's say you have a Grixis deck like this, if you have things that cost uh, one red red and one black black and one blue blue, like that's gonna change. Um, that's going to change your thought process compared to, um, you know, uh, if you're just playing like hard two colors and then trying to splash a third or, um, you know, like basically everything that you have. So it kind of all changes. There's not like a, a set, um, definitely do this kind of thing. Um, I guess I can't agent and... One, two, three, four, five. That'll be six. Can't agent that thing and Legion's End. My plan is crystallizing. I guess I could have, if, if I knew my opponent wasn't going to tap the Field of the Dead, I guess I could have kept the Blood Crypt. I could have just done that first, kept Blood Crypt, and then Bell will play Blood Crypt, Legion's End, attack for three. 
Yeah, so that, that was my plan. Just... Legion's end there. Legion's end next turn. Like, take, take their field. Legion's end next turn. I'm like one mana, or like, sorry, one, I'm like one damage short right now of killing them. Assuming I get to Royal Scion's ultimate, but obviously they can attack Royal Scion's and then I, I'm not anywhere near killing them. Why Ashiok in a Golos deck? Be against other Golos decks. They just grabbed it from the sideboard. They, you know, Ashiok was in the sideboard. So that's our third Dracuseth, unfortunately. So we have no more Dracuseths. I want my opponent to not attack. That would be ideal. unfortunate oh, so tired I have you will hey okay You're in the way. So yeah, getting getting the Fey of Wishes out of here because that card is just so powerful. Yeah, you know, like they they draw like whatever brick, they just put Fey of Wishes back into their hand, wish back in their sideboard for something very good, and that's problematic. I don't. I basically like Discovery is like a fine card. I don't really mind if I have it or not. I, you know, I kept it on top. Um, it's gonna go away from Ashiok if it's it's just kind of whatever. Like getting putting more cards into my graveyard whenever they have Ashiok is something that I wasn't really interested in doing anyway, so I was kind of just keeping stuff on top. The ability right here, you just discard you discard two cards and you put this back in their hand. Fay of Wishes, that's what it does. It goes back to their hand. And so I had to do that while they were tapped out. Before they drew an, another card. Winning this game for me is actually going to be tough. 
Honestly, with all my Dracu sets being exiled, when this game is going to be kind of tough. I think both of my Legion, yeah, both of my Legion's ends are gone now too. This is honestly going to be tough. So I'm at I'm at 21 cards in library. My opponent's at 37. So I want to take Castle. That gives me enough lands to turn on Field of the Dead. I, I could just take their other field again. I could also take Ashiok and mill them some. The problem with taking Ashiok is they have Castle. Like, the Castle is really powerful. Because, uh, yeah, hoping they Brick isn't really isn't really a thing when you scry two every turn and have infinite mana. So yeah, the, the biggest thing that this, this Ashiok's done is, you know, it's taken a lot of my win cons. Hmm. That was... That was a... Uh, that was a big time draw. That's what Castle does. I would have taken Ashiok. Would have gotten built. We would have been able to mill, you know, get rid of Krasis. Oh, I'm sorry, Matthew. Well, I I start streaming same time every day. I guess besides Sundays. Dang, that's so many zombies. Ugh, that's so many zombies. Come on. <laughs> uh Yeah, I, I guess this is just gonna this is just gonna end with me getting milled out because of this Ashiok. That's the only way this is going to end. I, I said come on because, like, the Royal Silence is good, but it's going to get exiled by Ashiok. So, yeah. They they did what I usually like to do against these Golos decks is, you know, Ashiok, but... Turns out Fae Wishes is pretty good, Hawkeye. Fortunately, I just don't have enough cards left in my library and enough important ones to win this. Okay, so after sideboard, we're going to play this Disdainful Stroke, play all these Ashioks, Unmoored Egos. Um, basically, what they were just doing there, that's going to kind of be my plan here. I feel like maybe I should have 
three Lich, four Scions in the deck instead of four Lich, three Scions. All right, turning into Grixis Control. Oh no, sound bug. Yuck. Yuck. I don't like it. Um, yeah, I, I actually, I created all these decks today, Kendis. Um, the, the, even the Great Henge deck today, it was just a, it was a donation deck to put together a Naya Great Henge deck. Like, that was, that was the donation was put together a Naya Great Henge deck. But yeah, so, yeah, built these. One's for today. Hey, yeah, Hawkeye. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah, Haw yeah, Hawkeye's a big fan of getting pet. Go and put my hand over the mouse. He's like looking at my hand right now. Like, why? Why is that hand not petting me? Like, why is this hand not petting me? There you go. Ah. He also likes to bite. Good cat. <laughs> no, Florida won't jump to number one, I don't think. I don't think they'll pass Alabama. Well, I don't know. Maybe they will. College college football doesn't really, like, the, the people, the ones at the top, you don't really just pass them for just winning. They have to lose, usually. Yeah. <laughs> That was a pretty good death stare he gave the camera. Hawkeye okay, did last night. I, I, <clears throat> okay, let's see. So I think I want to ego, I mean, the fact they're playing Fae of Wishes kind of makes me change things. Let's just ego, let's just take Krasis. Usually I would name Agent of Treachery here. But with them playing Fae of Wishes, I wasn't sure that they would have Agent of Treachery. And I'm, I'm really glad I did not name Agent of Treachery. So win cons are just Field of the Dead, Golos. And the, the Fae of Wishes in their hand.
Yeah, you'd rather ego Fey. I wasn't I wasn't expecting to be playing like four Fey of Wishes, and we'd already exiled one. So I was thinking they probably had two or three, and so they probably had one or two more Fey's. And so I thought they probably had more Krasis. You know, like we saw a lot of Krasis there previously. I guess I should have played Fable Passage earlier before this Ashiok, but obviously I was going to be murderous, murderous riding that Ashiok anyway. Alright, so I think, so all the Fey's are gone now, right? Because they just had the two Fey. So I think all they have are just the Field of the Deads. And Golos. I think that's all they have are Field of the Dead and Golos for us to worry about. There's a field. This is hard so we've exiled one field. Obviously, they have the two in play. We've gotten rid of two Golos. I would love to draw land here. Come on, draw land. Come on, deck, draw land. Draw land. Draw land. Ugh. No land. <clears throat> so if I if I drew a land, I was gonna be able to agent you know minus my Ashiok, agent of treachery there, Ashiok. Just take another however many cards out. This one's over. You will not block our noble path. I will always return. Now, of course, we'll steal Field of the Deads. Well, I'm, I'm assuming this is over, like, as long as we can reasonably draw a land at some point. Let me synthesize the facts. There we go. You're so tired of Golos Field of the Dead. Yeah, it's not it's not great for how early the, the season is to already be tired of the, the deck, but I can understand. So they just have one Field of the Dead left. One's exiled. I enjoy the proper application of knowledge. They're down to 17 cards. Basically, they could attack with their four creatures and kill the Ashiok here. And even though we would we would eat three zombies with that attack, but still, I thought it was worth... Sorry, I'm late. 
and yeah, they could have like a Teferi or something. I thought it was worth milling over, like just getting, like I thought, I think like we're fine just getting rid of the Ashiok here with them having, you know, like 22 cards left. You know, we'll see if, you know, milling out four out of 22, you know, we're, that's um, a, a good amount of their library that maybe we mill over the last field of the dead. <laughs> don't even want to bounce Agent of Treachery or Murderous Rider. No, I don't, I don't use anything like that, Zedalom. to finish each other's attack already. Who's the Field of the Dead deck now? Right, it's us. All right, so we'll see if we can get game three. <laughs> Good call there, Pedro. <laughs> Saying concede in three, two, one. Yep, everybody's playing Ashiok right now. Yeah. Yeah, X guys. Um we basically there's there's not too much of a of a metagame right now because of um uh it's you know such a new format here, you know, like we're only a week into it or so. But yeah, there's there's always a whole lot of decks you can play. And so yeah, you said you can't decide which control deck you want to play. Um, yeah, I can I can understand that being a, a tough choice, but that's that's kind of what's great about Magic is you can do, you know, like there's there's a deck for everybody basically. You know, you can kind of you know play whatever you want to play, kind of thing. Um, but there are times like where there's only like five or less decks being played in a format, but that's that's whenever. The format gets pretty bad that's that's whenever people really complain like that's that's when there's something wrong when there are cards that are too powerful that force that force everything else out of the metagame and there's only a few decks that are realistic decks that people are play yeah good job moxie way to make day two good job that is that is awesome <laughs> yeah how do you beat field of the dead all you, all, all you have to do is mill half of their cards, ego away the Krasis, uh, and steal their Field of the Deads. That's all you have to do. It's as easy as that. <laughs> Why is my playlist so awesome? I don't know. I guess I put it together. <laughs> yeah ego and the crisis that that really helped like that was a that was a really good choice as we saw there they were missing like they didn't really have other win cons um the ashiok hit that one field it was like basically we had two other good things like the ashiok milled over the first fey of wishes we drew the thought erasure right on, right on time for the other fey of wishes Ugh. I don't want a blue land on tap next turn. I want it this or like I don't want I don't want to play a tapped land next turn. I want to play my three drops next turn. So we're just getting rid of that those cards and looking for an untapped blue source or just untapped land. Really.
I could have played Temple, and that would have guaranteed having turn three Ashiok. Come on, deck. Untapped, untapped land here. Come on. Everything's, like, basically our whole hand's turned on if we get an untapped land here. Especially untapped blue. Let's get Watery Grave, Island, Steam Vents. Steam Vents, Watery Grave. Yep, sure is, Ken Kendis. Sure is. Okay, okay. Not perfect. Dream big. Yep, I'm just... Return. Let me know whatever you want, Kendis. This is a league that we're currently playing in. All right, now we need one more on tap land to be able to play this ritual of set. Love it. So I do play this. I'm, it's going to be tough getting rid of the zombies later, I suppose. Maybe I should ego first and just let Ashiok die? Hmm. This play so hard. Circuitous route once upon a time. I don't actually want that. I should have I put that in the bin. I don't actually want that. Alright, Simic Flash. Building with a friend. Okay. Alright, so we got donation deck for, for Saturday 3rd. Simic Flash. From Kendis. Building on a budget. Okay. So, okay. So, best of league. Okay. Oh, here, Kendis, send me that link again. The link cut off. So, yeah, if you can, send me, send me the link that, like, the message, you know, cuts off after so many letters yeah I like mystical dispute in the main of Simic flash I didn't like it before but where the the metagame is currently I think that mystical dispute is a good card um, especially with like the the three mana walkers and stuff perfect Okay, well, it looks like, looks like you basically have everything in there. I guess, yeah, you don't, don't have all the brazen borrowers. That's, that's the, the mythic. And that's, that's okay. We can work around that. 
the Dream Eater just has to go. It costs too much mana for 23 lands, and we need we need more ops. That's even, you know, ops a cheaper card anyway. But yeah, need, need more ops, less Dream Eater. Cool, cool. Okay, just have one. Oh yeah, and the Once Upon a Time. Yeah, just have one of those. That's that's fine. Um, so we're going to Darn it. That's what I was about to unmoor ego is Fay of Wishes. That's what I was about to ego. This Krasis card has looked really good. Maybe people will start to play Hydro Krasis. That card, that card looks pretty good. I wonder if people have tried playing that card before. I should use that before there's an Ashiok. Uh, yeah, good question. For deck lists, I'd recommend just using uh, using I use MTG Goldfish and like. Uh, you know, has like the like the metagame stuff on the left, but if also if you look at the right hand side, like those are all decks. You know, you can see like how they do in different events and everything. Like those are all decks that have done, you know, fairly well to be listed up there. Midnight Reaper? No. Alright, yeah, our hand was just a little too slow there. Opponent's hand was very fast. Also, having turn three circuitous route. It's a very, very, has very fast hand on their part. Turn three circuitous route on the play. It was too fast for my hand there. Yeah, yeah, lemon on Riley. That, that's that's I think that's why wish it, the the Fay of Wishes is a card because of best of one. But yeah, it it makes um it certainly kind of makes ever, everybody playing. <laughs> Fay of Wishes, but uh, yeah, it's that's a really powerful effect to have the the fifteen extra um, silver bullets main deck without yeah without any con constraints on your main deck. It's pretty hard to play. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to play a late game in best of one without Fay of Wishes. That's for sure. 
All right, Temple can scry. Um, I think, I don't think you need to nest. So like, it's hard for me to tell you whether or not to save your wild cards for when the meta is more settled in because, you know, it's, it's hard for me to tell you, or, you know, to, to, it's, it's hard for me to discern what's, you know, what's worth it for any individual person. You know, it's, it's like something that's different for everybody, but basically I think, I think there is kind of a a feeling of, of wanting to wait a little too much because you are, you know, like, this is just a, a game of entertainment. You know, like, this is just like a, a hobby, basically. Um, the more you wait, the less you are, uh, you know, enjoying your, hi your hobby uh, kind of thing, or I don't know if that's like the right term. Um, if, if you know what I mean, like the like the opportunity cost of like the, the more days that you wait, that's the more days that you're not playing with the deck that you want kind of thing. But I understand uh, I certainly understand uh, I should have just kept that 1-3 the 1-3 could have blocked the beast here I'm not going to be able to sit right away. I understand not wanting to make a deck that that you don't want to play in a couple of weeks, but that's that's the thing about standard is that can kind of happen. You know, even if you wait in two weeks to make a deck, two weeks after that, maybe you don't want to play that deck anymore. So you're in you're in kind of a rough spot there. Yeah, and I, and that's the other thing. A lot of people have like, yeah, the money constraints rely on free play, and they really don't want to use their wild cards too early. And so it's just kind of it's kind of tough. Um, there's there's not really a perfect time to use wild cards. It's kind of find something that you enjoy and that you'll know you that you'll enjoy even if it's not the best thing ever, you know, even if it's not, even if it's not the best. So if there's, if there's nothing really right now that, that kind of speaks to you, you know, feel free to wait. If there is something that, that speaks to you, maybe you want to just... Uh, craft that right away. I was hoping my opponent was going to play something else here. Ugh. Hey, crazy support. Thanks so much for that. It's Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for resubbing there. Crazy support. I appreciate that. Our third sub of the day. Well, I, d I didn't just take... Yeah, I was... Um... Oh, right. I see what you're saying. I took one. I, I could have just... I could have just murderous ridered and killed the one one going into combat, not the five five, and then they couldn't attack with the five five. Yeah, I guess I could I could have just done that. Yeah, I probably should have just done that. Okay, so we're gonna want. Ritual grasp. I don't really like Legion's end as much. My big mistake was was not keeping the two tone bound lich. I should have just kept that. I could have blocked the one five, gained a life, looted. Should have kept that card.
Hmm. I'll cut the Marvelous Riders. Most of their creatures are ones we can sit away. The ones that aren't, we have Grasp, Agent of Treachery. This is kind of weird. I want to put back the Bloodfell Caves, but I also want double black. So I guess I'm going to put back the... Temple of Epiphany, even though I'd, I'd rather scry than gain one life. Uh, if you can't queue for best of three ranked, then you're probably not on the right screen. There's, there's a toggle, like a switch you need to toggle around this area of the screen that says all play or like it's a, it probably says arena play modes you need to change it to say all play modes to be able to find like you know maybe it's not coming up hmm Real Scions do kind of die to Questing Beast. Yeah, both, both M20... Like, last set and this set has had lots of really good mythics. Like, you know, with, like, the cycles of mythics that are very playable. You better hope you delay our quest no further. I guess this Questing Beast is the card that I'm the most worried about. That one's definitely a problem. I guess maybe I shouldn't have cut all the, the Murderous Riders because of that card. I've... A couple of Noxious Grasps. Do you think Grixis or Sultai Reanimator will be better options with more land options? They're pretty similar. Um, what is my you know, Sultai, you get Tamiyo. Grixis, you have Royal Scions. Grixis, you can actually hardcast Like they're, they're pretty similar overall. I don't, so I, I don't know if there's necessarily one that stands out as being the better option. Being really careful with Veil of Summer. But yeah, they certainly meant to murderous rider, Royal Scions. With the destroy creature effect. Let us plan for the trials ahead. I 
I got rid of too many lands. Got rid of too many lands. Hey, Dandanel. Thanks for the, t the tier one sub. I appreciate that. Love it. Everybody getting the hype boats in the chat, too. Thank you so much. There's some hype boats there. All right, our fourth sub of the day. Is crystallizing. Hmm. So I, I went this route instead of Dracuseth. Like, Dracuseth kills all their stuff. Ilharg, I get to steal their 4-4, four, four, so even better than, than killing it, I get to take it. And they, they also didn't have enough to block the agent and kill the agent, so the agent was going to go back into my hand. So, again, the next turn, if I attack with Ilharg, um, we get to put Agent of Treachery back into play again kind of thing. Okay. So Questing Beast is, is certainly the scariest card. Maybe I cut two Tonebound Lich for two Murderous Rider. No, no, it's not. It's not... We can't, like, this kind of matchup, we can't afford to play Ego. Like, un Unward Ego is take an entire turn off just to take one card out of their deck, but it doesn't, Unward Ego doesn't actually trade with any spells. Like, you, you can't play Unward Ego ever against aggro decks. Just don't don't ever do it against any other, against any aggro deck. You will lose. And that's what our opponent's deck is, is an aggro deck. Just because they have a card that's scary, um... Doesn't mean we can ego him. Yeah, I I kind of I think I kind of just want to keep that honestly. It's a tough, tough card to put back because Agent of Treachery goes to the graveyard really well with the Tonebound Lich. Um, I could have put back the second Soot, but I feel like Soot is pretty awesome in this matchup. <laughs> not in Standard. There's not any cards that say protection that have protection from creatures in Standard. All right. Well, that's not a black source. We need double black. That is something they have printed before with different cards. Well, good thing we have a backup ritual. If we didn't, it'd be very easy for them to take ritual. Yeah, they're still taking Ritual, but good thing we have a backup. Regulin with the sub. 
Thank you so much for that support. And thanks, everybody, for all the hype votes in chat. Showing some love for our new sub there. Yep, I went black route first. Yep, in the on the mastery tree. All right, we're putting the discovery back. Um, I'm going to keep Thought Erasure to be able to cast this next turn. Again, looking for black mana. Nice. I don't know if I finished it or the black route or not. I know I have the Murderous Rider. I, I, I don't remember if I have Wrinkle or not. I'm going to do black, then green, and then, I guess, blue, then red, then white. All right, we need mana. Oh, uh, thanks, Regulin. Thank you so much for the kind words. So, you know, we're kind of seeing how much they want to play around Ritual of Soot. You know, they know about the Ritual of Soot. They didn't play a land that turn, so you know this is likely a spell in hand also. But I'll still I'll wait a turn before like I could thought erasure there, but like next turn they're they're probably gonna play this beast, uh draw two, and then after they play the beast draw two, then we can thought erasure and have a better you know, like we get better choices out of cards, so it's more likely that we get, you know, a questing beast or something like that. Alright, there's finally the other black source. Um, Davriel? Davriel's gonna be annoying. Could take Vela Summer also. It's not a bad hand at all. I'm gonna take the Davriel. With them kind of kind of stuck on lands. Obviously, our, our very best draw is just Bond Revival. We just draw Bond Revival, get back Dracu Seth. I guess I guess they have Assassin's Trophies. Maybe it's not the very best draw. That's a pretty good one, though. All right, so we made Super Friends even more fun. So two Narset, two Royal Scion, two Sarkin, three Nicol Bolas, one Chandra, one Ugin. Main board. Is, is Wishing Wells, has that been better than Discovery? I mean, I could see that. I could see it being better. Okay, you're going for Discovery to Wishing Well. Okay. Yeah, I understand wanting to fix your mana. I certainly understand that.
don't know how that could possibly be the correct attack. They just sacrificed an edge wall innkeeper to do one damage. Why? Why? Hey, Blade, welcome back. Yeah, I guess they thought I was just going to cast Ritual of Set, but the thing is, is that's all I have, so I can't, can't really just Ritual of Set here. Now it's a lot easier to Ritual of Set. All right, so I'll get Veil somewhere out of their hand, probably. Maybe. All right, maybe not. Hey, welcome back, Toxic Flames. Thanks for 19 months. I appreciate that. I kind of wanted to keep that eighth land in hand, but it was the scry land, so it was worth playing. And I, will inspire... I will learn what nobody yet knows. Oh, that was our six of the day. Oh, so tired. I have you, Will. Ugh. Another murderous rider, not even trophy. We don't even go. We don't even get to get a land out of the deck. So many lands here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ugh. Thirteen. Went through thirteen lands. Man, so we went O2. I was definitely feeling a lot better about this deck. We just lost our lost our games though. We went 0 2 with it. We won, we won like every game we cast Bond Revival. <laughs> the thing is, there's only four Bond Revivals, and we did not do a very good job of finding them. But yeah, yeah, every t every game that we cast Bond Revival, we won. We just didn't 
Didn't find him too often there. Hey, Storm. Um, yeah, so I don't, I don't know too much what to say about the deck. You know, like we, you know, like so we played against Golos. We lost game one uh, because they had Fey of Wishes game one, and they Fey of Wishes for Fey of Wishes. They wished for Ashiok, and just exiled too many win cons with Ashiok and just milled me out. I didn't have enough to finish the game. They got rid of all three Dracuseths with Ashiok game one. And then game two, we had a really good plan with our own Ashioks and Unmoored Egos and, and things like that. And we won game two convincingly. But then game three, their hand was just awesome. It was, you know, turn three circuitous route with Field of the Dead already. You know, like, um, you know, they had, like, Gross Spiral put in a Field of the Dead and then circuitous route on turn three, you know, before my Ashiok and just got a ton of lands and... And just really uh, pressured me too much, and my hand was good, but I, I missed on blue mana for a little too long, so I didn't get to. I was I was a little behind, anyway, and I was on the draw, and their hand was really strong, so we lost game three. And then we played against that green black, aggro deck, which is pretty popular, the green black adventures. And yeah, you know, again, game three. You know, we just kind of drew way too many lands game three. You know, we hit. We were hitting our ninth, tenth land drop there. And my opponent did not hit land drops, but they, they drew a lot of, like, you know, they drew all of their edge wall innkeepers and got to draw a lot of cards. And then, you know, eventually over time, they just had too many cards for us. So, you know, that's kind of, that's kind of how it goes, you know, like it's. I don't really think worse of the deck after going 0-2. We just had a couple of game threes there that didn't go our way for those reasons that I just said. We didn't have um, too strong of a, a game plan there that game three. You know, like, again, if we if we had a bond revival that game three, I think we win that. Like, if we would have had a, an early bond revival, you know, if we would have had bond revival on turn five, would have Dracuseth killed... Wiped the board with Dracuseth, not have to use Ritual of Soot, had Tone Bound Lich would have been able to attack. I mean, that's that was definitely the difference in the game. So if we had Bond Revival, we would have won that other game, and then we would have felt a lot better about our deck being 1-1. One and one. You know, it's just, you know, one card difference there between the records. So yeah, I'll keep working on it, but honestly, I, I, I like this I like this deck. I think it's, I honestly kind of think it's there. It's just, you know, we just lost some game threes. Um, which can happen. So if you're trying this on YouTube, uh, you know, if you're trying the deck out, let me know how it goes. Cause I honestly think this deck's pretty good just because, you know, like how, whenever you play games, you can like win games and think that you got really lucky and your deck doesn't feel that good or lose games, but your deck feels very good. And that's, this deck felt, felt pretty good. You know, they just, the wins weren't there. But um, the, I think the statement the deck folds to itself is probably the. That's a. A statement that of. I don't really know how to say anything polite about that statement. It's just it's so factually incorrect. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, again, give this give this deck a try. Let me know how how you like it i'm going to continue to to work on it but i i really think it's there even though we went out too very um i liked how i liked how the deck worked and how how the deck played and everything uh so okay um if you're so if you're watching the video later on youtube uh don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there also and again please let me know how it goes if you're trying it out but thank you so much for watching some grixis reanimator and I'll see you for the next video.